Good morning, boys and girls. Today is April 13, 2020, and we are getting ready to start our math lesson of the day. Our focus will be length. Lesson objective. I can compare the lengths of two objects by using a third object. I will use longer than and shorter than to communicate my findings. Okay, we're gonna start with a quick warm up, and I'm gonna give you 60 seconds to look at the graph and answer the question. Give me one second, let me put on my timer. Ready, set, go. Look at the graph carefully. Question number one says, how many people chose riding bikes? Question number two says, did more people choose flying kites or playing soccer? Go ahead, look at the graph, choose your answers. 30 seconds left. Ten seconds left. And time's up. All right, let's see. What was your question for number one? How many people chose riding bikes? Three people chose to ride a bike. Very good. Question number two, did more people choose flying kites or playing soccer? More people chose playing soccer. All right, nice job. Okay, let's move on. So today we're going to learn about length. What is length? Length is the longest part of an object. Okay, so if you look at the little picture that I have to the side, you will see that there's a giraffe and there's a dog. Let's look at the giraffe first. If you notice, there's a green line at the bottom and there's a red line to the side. The red line is showing length. Length is always the longest side. So if the length is always showing as the longest side of an object, if we look at the dog, we find that the red line is also the length, right? We don't, we would be looking from the nose to the tail to find the longest side of the dog. And that would be its length. So if I'm looking at my cell phone right now, and I wanted to know which one was the length, would the top side be the length or would the side part be the length? The side part, correct, because this is the longest part. Therefore, this is the length. Very good. Same thing if I am looking at the marker, right? The length would be the longest side, right? Not this side right here, but the longest side. This would be the length if we're finding the length. Okay? So, you can compare the lengths of objects. The paintbrush is longer than the pencil. The pencil is longer than the tube of paint. Is the tube of paint longer than or shorter than the paintbrush? Shorter than, right? So let's go ahead and think. What kind of words can we use to describe the length of an object? So if I am going to describe the length of my cell phone, Right? What kind of words can we use? Okay, so I could say that, oh, it's short, or I could say it's long, right? Depends to what I compare it to. Hmm. In this picture, we have a push pin, a pen, and a set of paints. If we look at the paints and we look at the push pin, what would we say about the push pin if we're comparing it to the pen? Is it shorter or longer than the paint? 
shorter, right? So a word that we can definitely use when we're comparing length is shorter than. The spoon is longer than the ticket. The toothbrush is longer than the spoon. So let's stop and think about that for a minute. If we know that the spoon is longer than the ticket and we know that the toothbrush is longer than the spoon, then what do we know about the toothbrush when we compare it to the ticket? Would we say that the toothbrush is shorter than the ticket? It's not, right? So what word can we use? The toothbrush is longer than, right? So that's another word that we can use when we're comparing length. So we would say the toothbrush is longer than the ticket. So those are the two main words that we're going to be using today to compare the length of objects. Shorter than or longer than, okay? So with that in mind, let's look at this picture of a paintbrush. Think about the paintbrushes that we have in the classroom, right? Can you think of an object in the classroom that is shorter than the paintbrush? So when I'm comparing and I'm thinking of objects, I want to make sure that if I'm comparing the objects in person, I want to make sure that I start them at the same place, right? Because if I go like this, if I start comparing them like this, then I'm going to think that the marker is longer, and it could be, but they're, it's not fair because they're not at the same spot. So they have to start in the same spot so that I can compare them correctly. Okay, so thinking about that, what is an object that you think might be shorter than a paintbrush? There's many different right answers. In this case, I thought of a crayon, right? A crayon would be shorter than a paintbrush. So now thinking about a different object, I want you to think about an object in the classroom that a paintbrush is shorter than. So if this is my paintbrush, the paintbrush, the paintbrush is shorter than the object you're thinking. So again, there's lots of different answers that you can think of. I was thinking about the easel, right? I think that the easel, the paintbrush is shorter than the easel. So now if we're comparing, I want you to think about the two objects that I chose the crayon and the easel. And if we're comparing the length of those two objects, mm, which one would you say is shorter? The crayon or the easel? The crayon, really good. All right, so we're gonna do this one together, okay? So. We're going to do this problem together, okay? We're going to compare the objects, and then you're gonna help me to decide which words are we going to circle, longer than or shorter than, right? So be very careful listening skills so that we can listen to all the clues. So it says, the pair of glasses is shorter than the marker. The marker is shorter than the picture. Let's start by thinking what two pair of objects are they talking about first? So we know that we're comparing the objects and we know that we have the pair of glasses and the markers. So if we look at the pair of glasses and the marker, we know that the pair of glasses is shorter than the marker. If we look at the marker and we look at the picture, we know that the marker is shorter than the picture. So in the pic, so now let's think, is the picture longer than or shorter than the pair of glasses? Right, is the picture okay, longer than, right? Or shorter than? Is 
it's longer, right? The picture is longer than the pair of glasses. Very good. So I'm gonna give you guys 60 seconds to work on this one independently, all right? Listen carefully to the clues so that you can decide. So remember, you're comparing the objects. So it says the crayon is longer than the paper clip. The scissors are longer than the crayon. Okay, I'm gonna read the clues one more time. The crayon is longer than the paper clip. The scissors are longer than the crayon. Is the paper clip longer than or shorter than the scissors? Shorter than, very nice, okay. Let's continue. The eraser is shorter than the glue stick. The glue stick is shorter than the pencil. Is the pencil longer than or shorter than the eraser? Get the pencil is longer than the eraser. This is our last one, okay? This one has no pictures, so you really have to listen carefully to the clues. So we are comparing the objects, ready? The chalk is shorter than the pen. The paper clip is shorter than the chalk. Is the pen longer than or shorter than the paper clip? Okay. One tool that you can do right now to solve the problem is you could draw a picture and maybe it would help you. Or you could just think of the clues and see what are you thinking. Okay, so I'm going to read it one more time. The chalk is shorter than the pen. The paper clip is shorter than the chalk. Is the pen longer than or shorter than the paper clip? Okay, ready? Okay. If you have your answer, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Okay, we're gonna check right now. So we have a chalk, a pen, and a paper clip. So this is going to be my chalk. I'm gonna put CH for it, and that's my chalk. So it says the chalk is shorter than the pen. The chalk is shorter than the pen. So if I'm gonna do my pen, it has to be longer than the chalk, right? So it says the pen. So the chalk is shorter than the pen. The paper clip is shorter than the chalk. So the paper clip is shorter than the chalk. So I'm gonna do the paper clip shorter. And I'm gonna put a CH for the paper clip. The paper clip is shorter than the chalk. So let's think, is the pen longer than or shorter than the paper clip? It's longer than, right? Very good. So now that we've practiced how to compare objects, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little task to do, right? This is on your own. Okay, you're gonna look around your house and you're going to find three objects that you wanna use for this activity. For example, I'm going to use a marker, my cell phone, and a piece of paper. Okay, once you have your three objects, you're gonna make a little small table like the one I have on the screen. So I'm gonna do one right now with the ones I chose. Right, so I'm gonna put object number, and then on this side, I'm gonna put the object. 
So you're gonna need three of them. Okay, my marker is going to be my number one. So object one would be marker. Object two for me would be my cell phone. I'm gonna put the phone in. And then object three will be my paper. Okay, so once you have your chart, you're going to copy the sentences that are below, these right here, you're gonna copy them into your paper. So I'm gonna write, okay? And then I'm going to write object two is blank. Then object one. And last, I'm going to do object three is blank. Then object two. Now that you have your sentences, you're going to get your objects, object one and object three. So we're going to get object one and object three, all right? So my object one is the marker. My object three is the paper. So remember, you wanna make sure that when you're comparing them, you start at the same spot, right? Like this, right at the same spot. If you do it on the table, it'll be a lot easier. I'm doing it like this so that you guys can see. So I have to start right at the same spot. And then I'm going to compare my object one to my object three. So I would write object one is what? Can you guys see it? Shorter than object three. So I would go back to my paper and then you're gonna put object one is shorter than object three. Next sentence says object two, you're going to compare it to object one. So my object two is the phone, my object one is my marker. I'm going to compare it, start at the same spot. So this one's very careful, but I could see that my object one is longer than object two. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to write Object two is shorter than object one. And last, I'm going to get my object three, which is my paper, and my object two, which is my phone. So now that I have them, I'm gonna put them in the same spot and I'm going to save what? Look at them carefully. My object three, which is my paper, is what compared to my object two? Very good, my object three is longer than object two. So I'm gonna write object three is longer than object two. All right, so now it's your turn. Go ahead and make your chart copy the sentences and finish the work, all right? Compare the objects. Once you are done, don't forget to take a picture and send it to me through Class Dojo. Right, I hope you have fun comparing the different objects that you choose. All right. All right, I hope you have fun comparing the objects and that you learned that when we talk about length, we can always compare one object to another, okay? And don't forget, Length is the longest part of an object, right? Very good, so very quickly. If this is my object, what part would be the length? The top or the side? The side, right? And it doesn't matter if I flip it over, see what so which one would be the length? The top or the side? The top right because we're always looking at the longest 
side of an object for its length. Okay. All right, can't wait to see all your work. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.